Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back. It is I, Dave Pumphouse, with Rule the Waves 3. And I must say that this one is going to be brought to you by the Armchair Dragoons, because I was a little cheeky. I managed to obtain, through the Armchair Dragoons, a bit of a, uh, uh, a press copy uh, that I had been playing for the last uh, three weeks, welcome getting... Let me just switch that off because I am watching it on the laptop as well so I can see all your comments. Let me just turn that off so you don't get an echo. There you are. As I was saying, this one's brought to you by the Armchair Dragoons. If you don't know who the Armchair Dragoons are, they're a collective of gamers, wonderful people who uh, get together ever so often and uh, play games. Whether it's a uh, convention, uh, or whether it's just over Discord and what have you, uh, there is a little forum. They also do a podcast as well. It's just as soon as this loads. So yeah, all sorts of uh, nice little things going on in the forum. Lots of people turning up day to day, talking about, as I said, conventions and and, and other games. Maybe you're looking for. A, a new challenger to, to maybe play some multiplayer games with or, or, or whatever this is the place you'll find very nice people uh, as I found out over the last few years playing with them but we're not here to talk about that we're here to watch me play all the ways three we are going to be playing Russia uh, if the uh, thumbnail uh, didn't uh, didn't give it away uh, and as you can see yeah I, I picked this up on the 4th of May and in my Japan's uh, playthrough I'm already on 1937 uh, it, it's it's been a bit of a, a time sink this game but I'd like to say hello to Danuke and GWG gaming man nice to see you GWG how's it going and of course nice to see you Danuke I did I did see the discord message come in Danuke I, I wasn't deliberately ignoring you uh, but yeah, let's let's go for it. Uh, super large, Admiral Pump House, Russia. We're going to do the research rate. We're going to keep it about 100. Uh, tech variation, slight. I'm not going to do harsh piece deals. I know other other streamers have, uh, but we're going to keep the uh, uh, air base maximum there. Uh, 100. You can go up to 120 planes per air base, but we, we won't do that. Uh, but yeah, without further ado, let's let's just get on with it. Uh, now, I mean, I've got, I've got lots of things to say about uh, Rule the Waves Three, as I've been, like I said, sinking a lot of time into it. Um, I think it's it's a massive, massive improvement on Rule the Waves Two. Uh, now, if you've had, and seen any of my other uh, playthroughs of of Rule the Waves, you'll know that I always struggle with refits and the budget and the like. Not so in Rule the Waves 3. It's been a bit more of a breeze. I don't know whether that's just because I've got better at the game or because the budget seems to stretch more. Um, and you know, you can, you can do a hell of a lot more with your money, uh, I, I find. Um, you know, I mean, I know when there was, you know, for example, you know, with regards to super fleets and super size, um, by the time you got to the you know 1940s, 1950s, it, it shrunk a great deal. Um, but uh, in my 1937 game, I've got hundreds, hundreds of ships. It's it's insane. Uh, and with because I'm Japan, I've got the most aircraft. Um, normally, in Rule the Waves Two. You could build a dozen air bases and, and, and fill your boots with regards to that, but uh, and, 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 and still be somehow a thousand planes under your, your nearest competitor, but not so in, uh, in Rule the Waves 3. I'm, I'm, I'm glad to report. Um, but yeah, let's have a look uh, at our ships. Uh, now, this one's quite good actually because it hasn't given me any pre dreadnoughts under six thousand 
6,000 or even 7,000 tons uh, in my Japan playthrough I ended up with a pre-dreadnought that was only three and a half thousand tons uh, which was insane but we've got uh, the Peter Velke over here let's have a look at her she's got two 12 inch at the front and not much else four six inches and 12 two inches just to keep those pesky torpedo boats away well she can go a maximum of 14 knots but it looks like she is short ranged and what uh, cramped conditions as well <clears throat> so that's that's not great that's not great at all uh, the Serovich let's have a look at the Serovich now this one's a little bit better and they've decided to give me 4 12 inch and then 4 6 inch and then okay so she's just 400 tons heavier but two, uh, two, uh, two more guns better but she's 7 on the belt what was the belt on the Imperator 12 okay I guess having those guns really made the difference on on that belt armor and, and the weight that we could uh, we could have uh, okay we won't get have a look at the other Imperators so we've just got Imperators and Serovich um, well I think we're gonna have to redesign something straight off the bat maybe something 10,000 10 to 12,000 range coastal fortifications now have submerged torpedo tubes I haven't come across that to nuke. That's news to me. Um, who knows? Maybe we'll see it in this campaign if it's true. Uh, we've got the Premier Asova. Two 8-inch guns. She's fair. And eight 6-inch guns. Four in the belt. So she's decently armoured. She can go 20 knots, which is going to be great. She'll be around for at least the next 10 years. Maybe even 20 years if we can... Uh, keep her as it could be going and then we've got some smaller Grommer boy 4,400 4, tons so only 18 knots two 7 inch guns 6 5 inch and 8 2 inch what's, what's up with these 2 inch guns These little potato peeler spud guns. Armed with a potato peeler, can you imagine? Right. And this uh, got now to the light cruisers, the Pallada. A little bit faster. Amazingly enough, she's heavier than some of our uh, <laughs> armored cruisers. Eight five inch guns. Well, that's fair enough. The Diana. She's looking a bit tasty. She's looking a bit nice. Ten six inch guns. That's more like it. We're going to keep the Dianas. That's for sure. But again, those eight two inch. We're going to have to have maybe upgrade them to uh, to threes at least. I'd like to see fours, but. There we are. Uh, and then we've got the Almaz. 5,300. Two 8 inch guns, 8 6 inch. 10 3 inch. Okay, so they've decided to go up to the 3 inch on, on the Almaz. Two on the deck. That's not nothing to be sniffed at for a light cruiser. Let's have a look at the ones under construction. Okay. Oh, look, we've got a Gangoot being built in Great Britain. That's nice. And she's got 13 inch guns and 14 on the belt and 8 inch secondaries. Wow, she ain't she ain't too bad at all. We could probably order a couple of more Gangoots. Grand Boy and an Almaz. Right, well, we don't, we don't mind the Almaz. I guess we don't mind the Grand Boys. But uh, we're going to have to. Hang on, is she. Gangu is short ranged, but at least he hasn't got cramped accommodation. 
So, how much is that costing us? 1,800. We could probably build two more Gangoots and literally start getting rid of these horrible. Uh, Bill, I was wondering when you'd show up. <laughs> nice to see you. Have you got it yourself yet, Bill? Or, or, or no? Uh, well, where was I? Yeah, we were talking about these Gangoots. So let's let's build another one. Let's have the keyboard down on my lap here. I'm happy to to build. Hell, I'm happy to build even two more. And so you can uh, certainly uh, give me names for ships that uh, you'd like to see built. That won't be a problem. Uh, input is always a lovely thing. Uh, I would, I actually, I would like to say I, I, I should have uh, streamed this yesterday night. However, we were having a bit of uh, technical difficulties, um, so I had to, uh, I had to figure out all that because I, I did a bit of a test, and um, well, the, the screen was uh, a bit out of focus and. I, wasn't sure why, uh, but it, it looks, looks relatively okay now. Um, if it's not as sharp as it normally is, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, but the show must go on. Uh, let's immediately start building a bigger dock, shall we? That's not going to be too much to ask. And uh, let's have a look at the map. Obviously, we're in control of Russian holdings. We've got Arcane Jot there, and we're in control of Finland. That's nice. Right, what do we got out uh, towards Northeast Asia here? We got five armored cruisers, one battleship. Okay, what what battleship is out there? Uh, Baltic, the Baltic. These guys are in Northern Europe, Northern Pacific. All right. It's weird. It's weird that it's saying that there's five armored cruisers, but I don't. I don't think so. Somehow. It seems to be a little bit of a bug because everything should be in the Baltic, apart from two armored cruisers. But um, is it registering those two armored cruisers? It is. Maybe we just need to go forward into February before it all sorts itself out. Let's have a look at and see what it says now. No, it's still showing. Yes, added captain admin is is certainly a thing. Um, it's it's great to see the trouble that they get into with the uh, admiral's uh, daughters. Uh, that, that champagne flowing a bit too much I think but it, it brings a nice flavor and uh, you know they can uh, certainly have their moments where they insult uh, foreign dignitaries and um, I mean I'm, I should have read the manual a little bit more but uh, some of their uh, behavioral patterns are, are quite interesting um, and uh, you know and if you don't like them you can always fire them uh, so, so there you go um, and I'll tell you what we might do. Uh, let me go to options for a second. Uh, where, where are my options? Preferences. There we go. Uh, we're going to keep it on rear admiral's mode. Uh, we do want to have. Uh, um, the English rank names. There we go. Yeah, if we keep the English rank names, we can keep a keep a good eye, an eye out for for people who we definitely need to be promoted. Um, but uh, yeah, I don't know if you you, you missed it, Bill. But uh, I was saying that it looks like you get more bang for your buck with regards to your monthly balance. Now you can build a hell of a lot more ships. You can uh, yeah, it's a bit bit more bit more friendly in in that. But yeah, yes, yeah, it is a possible bug there. I think. Um, which 
is a bit of a shame. Uh, but I'm not really sure what we can do about it. Um, all right. Well, I'll tell you what then. We'll, we'll move you guys to uh, Northeast Asia. Uh, new ships. So we don't have to have them in Northern Europe there. Northeast Asia, there we go. Uh, and you can come back to the Baltic, I think. Oh, we need to do research rates, don't we? Of course, of course we do. Right, we are going to put it on 12%. And, uh, I think probably what we want to do is have machinery and armor get uh, get ahead there because we are going to fall behind very quickly. Well, we might not go to war with Japan, but um, yeah, we can certainly design some of these corvettes to to keep our little foreign holdings. Clever. All right. Now, it's saying it wants to build us with 1,700, but I don't think now's the time. But I, I tell you what we can do. We'll, we'll do 1,500 because, uh, although no, we won't, <laughs> because we're overweight. Uh, it's because it wants to give us bloody six-inch guns. Do we need the three inch? We'll keep the three inch. Uh, yeah, considerably overweight. Uh, we can just put a one on the belt, one on the deck, and then maybe go up to five inch. That's a little bit better, isn't it? Give 160 rounds. Maybe just eke out a bit more speed. 18 knots do good. Okay, she's all okay from that point of view. Conning tower, why not? Let's just make it four. Turrets, two. Can we do turret armor? Yes, we can. Yes. Colonial service, perfect. Cost us, oh, almost two years to build. 175 each. For the costings. Well, she'll be cheap. She'll be speedy enough, and you know, if anything comes near her, at least she can pack a punch with minus quality one fives and zero on the threes. Maybe we might go up to two. We can go up to two, and she's got enough to top side. Yeah. I, I kind of like the look of that. The Platson. If anyone has any other names, I'll, I'll be glad to to hear it. But um, yeah, I think I think that will do. I think that will do for now. Save and finish. Not bad to start with. Insufficient on foreign stations. Since when? Northern Europe. Oh, we actually do have to keep stuff in Northern Europe, do we? Well, that's a bit of a bugger, isn't it? Okay, we'll take these two Almazes, uh, considering that will that'll, that'll meet our uh, foreign stations requirement up in Northern Europe. Just as soon as I can bloody find it on the list. There we go. The bill says make a mine sweeper because we don't need anti-submarine warfare yet. That's that's a fair cop. 
I have to design another one. <laughs> Quickly. Quick, design another one. Right. Gonna make her. So she's got fives, and she's got fives and fours. And she's quite speedy. Mind sweeping gear. Oh, she's dead on. Look at that. Maybe we can just reduce the speed there. Make a colonial. Ooh. Okay. 1,400. 200. 200. 1,200. Make her a bit lighter. But more. Oh, we're gonna go one. Okay, we'll save. Save on speed. One on the deck. Oh dear. Okay, she's one thousand six hundred. And the four-inch coastal bats. All right, we'll scrap them. Good call. Good call from. Uh, our uh, naval uh, naval minister Bill Long, honorary naval minister, all the time. Okay, let's have a look at these base overview. Four inch guns, you reckon? Coastal fortifications. Oh yeah, four inch coastals. Well spotted. But we've got it. Couple of sixes, which ain't, ain't so bad. Alright. Good call. Good save. Alright, so we've got those light cruisers going into Northern Europe. Uh, yes, there we go. We're on our way. Focus on physical fitness in the light cruiser Palada. That's led to combat training being neglected. Okay, crew quality suffers. Uh, internal upheaval in the Laotung Peninsula. Hmm. Well, gonna have to force them to back down, or we can join an international force, which may do us better with respect to uh, relations with other nations. Now, alliances are a lot more easier to come by in World Race Three. Uh, compared to all the race two, so I've seen. So I think I think maybe just pushing for an international force just to start us off might be the more wiser option. Because let's face it, we've got yeah the, the half of our battleships will probably break down getting there. Uh, Japan reluctantly recalls the expedition. That's good. Okay, so. It's got us in tension with them, but we'll gain more respect and, and promise, promises from other uh, other nations who, who joined us. Okay. Uh, setbacks on improved design calculations. Well, that's not too too worry. Uh, the courier, uh, right, courier class. We'll build ten. Or will we? Gonna screw us. Uh, not now. Right, what are we gonna put on hold? Should we put uh, one of these gas? Oh no, tell you what we'll do. We'll put uh, put some of these off for a bit. We're still not meeting our I thought that was only 5,000. Never mind. We just have to move one of the Dianas in there as well then. Move ships to Northern Europe. Is it because of that? Okay, it's because of that. Technically that's a, that's a foreign holding. <laughs> All right. Right then, well, what, I'll tell you what we'll do, we're going to build up uh, forces here in uh, 
an archangel. Going to build a bigger base so it can hopefully support a bigger fleet. Insufficient ships on foreign stations. Yes, we're going to have to continue anyway. Uh, the Pilada's still making human pyramids. Lovely. Uh, temporary setback on figuring out the YST engine. Alrighty then. Right, so we'll hold out on the budget for for now. Uh, but yeah, as soon as one of these gangoots is uh, ready, we'll we'll send it over to Japan, shall we? Although it is short range, so not sure what good that will do. Okay, major arms, yes, please. I like it how they haven't changed too much of the events in this game either. It's the, it's the same old source, just with extra spice, as uh, as people have pointed out. Okay, internal upheaval in Angola. Well, we don't we don't need to send anybody down. To Angola. We don't need a Russian there, Angola. Okay, Germany is taking it. Okay, fair enough. I mean, to be quite honest, me being Russia, I'm really only interested in either Norway, Iceland, maybe Greece, maybe Turkey. Maybe Korea. Uh, you could probably take some of these Chinese holdings as well. That might be of some interest to us. But uh, for now, I'm really only interested in if there's anything going on in Scandinavia or Greece or Turkey. We're not going to provoke anyone. We're not going to uh, butter my pickle. Hello, mate. Nice of you to join us. Join in. Seems that the commander Kendrovich fought in a duel. Okay. Uh, what do we do? What do we do about this? Uh, well, we don't know anything about them, but we can have them court martialed for dicking about. Uh, because we don't really want to lose prestige straight off the bat, so we'll get rid of them both. Nothing lost, nothing gained. Right, let's have a look at the Almanac and see how we compare to actual other peoples. Okay, so our biggest rival really with regards to battleships is uh, Great Britain I mean our, the, our budget is absolutely terrible I mean what their first second okay well we're third third on budget so let's let's see if we can keep ourselves Maybe in the top three, top four. Let's make that an ambition for the next ten years, shall we? Yeah, so... Yeah, Great Britain, France is second, us third. Maybe Germany might eke itself ahead, but... Uh, I've also noticed that um, the AI doesn't put all that much thought into uh, Corvettes. That's something that I've noticed as well in my Japan playthrough. I've got like 60 Corvettes and they've only got like 10. Uh, but my pickle says he wants to have a look at our ships. Yeah, they're not great to start with. We've got uh, this thing. Yeah, 
here, just two 12 inches at the front. Uh, it's the uh, Zetrovich, which is a little bit better. And then we've got these Gangoots, which should, in theory, maybe last us the next 20 years at least. They'll be useful with their 13 inch guns and their eight inch secondaries. And they're pretty heavily armored as well. So I'm, I'm looking forward to good things from the Gangoot when, uh, when she gets going. And then you've got uh, our armored cruisers, although they're not so bad in the scheme of things, we can design them a little bit better. Dread, did pre-dreadnoughts have 12 inch guns in real life? Um, I'm not really an authority on the matter, but I would think I would think so by, by 1890. Um, I, I, can, I can imagine it so. Yeah, especially the capital ships. Okay, now we're in back in black which is a good one. The Pozednik is commissioned. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Okay, now these ships are starting to come out. Maybe we can resume some of these that were on hold. So yeah, she'll come out next month. So yeah, that's fine. Okay, that's good. And the that's a temporary setback in figuring out the concept of improved armor penetration. Anti Spanish rebellion is broken out in Cuba. Okay, the Gangu has been launched into the Navy. During trials, it's found that the ship is somewhat overweight. Uh, that's not good. But I do like now that uh, the pictures seem to correlate with what nation you're playing. I, I think I've picked that up as well. So that's kind of nice. That's kind of a, a nice little detail. I could be wrong, of course. But uh, okay. Our best brains are hard at work studying the fascinating challenges of heavy, Harvey armor. Okay. Still no advances in technology though. That's that's a shame. Um, right. Once once this is built, you know what? Maybe. What's their dock size? Eight R. Eight thousand. What's? Twelve. Twelve. Fifteen. We don't. We don't even need to bother poking Austria-Hungary, asking what they're up to. 15,000, 14,000, we could probably design a French. Okay, well, I'll tell you what we'll do. If they're, yeah, if they're 14,000, let's design a ship from a French dockyard, shall we? Let's have a bit of fun here. What's the biggest gun you can make? 20 inches. Can have a few missiles once you get to the late game as well, which I'm gonna, which I'm gonna enjoy. All right, let's uh, do yeah pre pre dreadnought France. Let's go. Ugh. She's ugly. Right. Uh, oh no, they're minus two. Oh no, we don't want minus two. So what's our guns at the moment? Yeah, okay, everything's... Oh. Let me check. Uh, they do have 13-inch guns, so maybe we actually want to do a Royal Navy. instead of France because maybe they might have minus ones 
Let's, I mean, let's have a test. Let's have a test. Okay, no, there's still quality minus two, of course. Maybe then we want to sort out our armoured cruisers rather than anything else then. I don't know, let me, let me know your thoughts about what ship we really need. Because we are quite pre-dreadnought heavy even though they're really, 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 really crap. <laughs> okay, she, can, she, she can go a bit faster but she's still working up. When she, once she's finished working up, we'll send her out to uh, Northeast Asia. New docks have been done. Good. After a naval visit by Great Britain, you were asked by a journalist to comment on the visiting ships. Well, it's nice to host their friendly cruise. Yeah, the only thing with minus two guns, though, is they can't ever be upgraded. Colonial crisis in Japan has arisen. I ask for recommendations. Okay. Uh, okay, we'll avoid war right now, but we should strengthen ourselves, gird ourselves against the imperial ambitions of Japan. Alright, so now we're making some serious wonga. Okay, let's design ourselves an armoured cruiser. Let's see what we can do in the short term. Okay, so it wants to give us eight inch guns. What about nines? It's got wing turrets. That's quite nice. Let's make it like 10,000, shall we? Give us a bit of space to, to work with. Make her 20 knots. Don't need to make her too fast. Still early days. Uh, two on the deck. Conning tower will make 10. Yeah, keep keep our little captain safe. The turrets. Uh, well, at such a distance, I don't think the turrets would suffer too badly if we put them at five and same as the deck that we find by me I think and the secondaries are five inch guns in casemates uh, what's that what's that Bill saying torps are very useful at present yeah okay additional armament let's do Let's do broad, broadside under, under broadsides for this. Uh, we need a name for her though, Bill. So she's got maximum underwater submarine, uh, submarine, yeah, submerged uh, torpedo tubes. She's got two. Let's get, okay, we'll make three-inch guns for secondaries. Was there ever a cruiser with nine-inch guns on it? Yeah, I think so. If there wasn't, there is now. <laughs> uh, she's a little bit light on, on the ammo, but I don't think we should worry too much about that. Peter? The Peter class. Yeah, okay. We call it the Peter. They will go Petra. I think that's how you spell Peter in Russian, isn't it? Have 
Piotr. Like that. There we go. Piotr. I think she's okay. I, th I think she'll work for for us for the next uh, few years at least. Uh, is there anything wrong with her? She has a narrow belt. Huh. Oh well, she's gonna have to. She's just gonna have to have a narrow belt. That's fine. There you go. Gangu has finished her working up. All right. Now is it still saying we've got? No, it's not. It's actually fixed that bug for us. All right, Gangook's going out. I'm gonna send her with a few armored, uh, no, light cruisers, I think. Uh, Northeast Asia and shall we send a couple of Dianas? Yeah, we'll send a couple of Dianas with her. No shells are hitting the deck for the next 20 years. So it's a fair point, <laughs> but we might keep that one for the next twenty years. You never know. No, we, we won't, because she'll never be any use. Uh, the rebels in the Spanish possession of Cuba have been eradicated. All right, uh, no problem, no problem at all. The Tsar wants you to deploy additional forces in Northeast Asia. It's twelve. And required is 42. Okay. Okay, we're going to build two two of these bad boys. Because we can. We've got the Peter, Peter and the Polkan. There we go. Now, what is... Yeah, we've got 12. But the requirement is... 42. So if we send maybe another battleship, maybe we could send these two as well. Northeast Asia, there we go. Now, this is going to be a bit of a tricky campaign whilst we uh, figure out how to deal with an eastern and western fleet. We're going to have to try and find our rhythm as to what to upgrade, when and where and what to put into dry dock and we're probably going to have to figure out kind of two different methods of warfare depending on who we're fighting and, and where in, in, in the east and the west. Uh, what we'll do is because we do have a little bit of extra balance. What I'm build what I will do is build a fortification. We'll do a ten inch. Could probably build two. Just just to keep Hokkaido I think that's a Hokkaido, isn't it? Oh, Sakhalin. Just to keep her yeah, get, guarantee her safety a bit more against imperial ambitions. Commander Kerber in charge of preparations for the annual army and navy football game. He wants to wants more time for training. Uh, yeah, okay. We'll up our own prestige on that. There we go. The navy team soundly beats the army. Good. What tech did we just research? Uh, the YST engine. We're on our way. So I'm not entirely sure if that's uh, 
That's not a coal turbine, I don't think. It's going to be a while for that. Okay, we've got another one commissioned into the Navy. Which one's this? It's another crappy Peter. Peter Velke. We would happily get rid of. <laughs> and another one. Okay. It's been an internal upheaval in Albania. Ooh, do we want to take Albania? Would put us immediately button heads against France and Italy. Join in an international force again. Uh, do I want to grab Albania? Or do I want to butt heads with Italy? Hmm. I think the international force worked for us last time. And if we did an ultimatum, we've got no ships in the med, so they, they'll, they'll take it regardless. So let's just do an international peace force. Here we go. Italy ignores it. All right. Okay. The Yakumo. 6,800 tons. Four eight inch guns, eight six inch. She's a, she looks a bit of a terror. Telescopic sights, lovely. Fleet tactics, all right, nice. And rebellion in Albania continues. Hopefully the Albanians will kick them out. It'll probably give us the option to uh, give them weapons soon. Uh, that's something that has, has come up in the past. Uh, what should we do? Should we get more Gangoots? Or should we build just another Piotr? We both want more. build a few more corvettes as well a few more corvettes just for fun well that's going to take them take them a while oh we're in 1892 already flying through It's pretty accurate of uh, Italy to go for Albania. I mean, why, why wouldn't they? Okay, you are due to hold a speech at the annual uh, gathering of the Navy League. What is the gist of your speech? You need to safeguard against the interests of all nations. Okay. Raises tensions ever so slightly but we can certainly deal with that when the time comes okay, we're keeping things pretty level here uh, I know in Rule the Waves 2 it almost likes to put you in the deep end as soon as you uh, start the game it almost like puts you at war but this one I think is a bit more of a slower pace you can design these ships and you can Really, just get get in your groove, and I think maybe I think a possibility you could do this game without going to war at all if you played it right. Uh, right, let's move these guys to 
Northeast Asia. There we are. Although they were working up, they'll earn experience along the way. Nothing better for a crew than to learn its experience once it's out there. Right, what do we got? Somehow, Japan. Has Japan only got one pre dreadnought? <laughs> Well, we just keep those guys in check then, won't we? All right. Three new Corvettes. Lovely. Rebellion in Albania continues. Lovely. Beautiful. Uh, let's go to the doctor in now. Let's uh, do some damage control and gunnery. Uh, at initial cost. Uh, now let's fix this. What we can do is switch these guys to HE. Actually, no, AP. Yeah, and then just switch if the target is a light cruiser. because I'll do more damage then. Um, apply, lovely. Yes, okay, that sorts out our doctrine uh, because if we do go to war in these early stages, we'll probably bag ourselves a lot more kills if we uh, switch to HE ammo uh, to start with. But look at this, France probably within months of reaching out for an alliance if uh, things keep going our way. Ooh, better eight inch guns researched. Brilliant, because that puts us in a good position Although, did we go nines? Oh, we went nines, didn't we? We went nine inch for the Peters. Ah, oh, damn. Well, there you have it. <laughs> Bollocks. I mean, we could build another one with eight inch guns. Like a, like a cousin to the uh, Piotr. Are you? No, I think I think we will. I think we'll just build like a little cousin ship to it. Let's do it now. Let's just do it. Right, eight inch, ten thousand tons. Four on the belt. Keep a one and a half on the deck. We won't need to go up to two. Do we want to make a? Five inches, I think we do. We'll just increase the guns on both of them. No, the only thing uh, is that with uh, that uh, pickle is um, with the uh, with with the other ones that we've got going on. If they're minus two, which they will be. We cannot upgrade them. Uh, so whilst I'd love to upgrade the ones that we do have, the fact that they've got minus two guns means the guns will not be able to be uh, uh, upgraded. So it's a bugger, but uh, something we've just got to deal with. But it just means it's more fun because we can create these, these types of things. Uh, if someone gives me the name for uh, pickle uh, in, in Russian, uh, we can <laughs> we can name this after after pickle. Uh, how did you find us, pickle? Is it just you picked us up at random, or have you watched other stuff of mine? Maybe I know you from another forum somewhere, and and you're just here to to say to say hello. But it's nice to have you with us. Nice to find new uh, 
new people in the chat. Okay, we're gonna up the ammo just a tad. Oh, she's 22 knots. Okay, well, we'll <laughs> holy shit. 22 knots, that ain't bad at all. Maybe we can make a five on the belt. If we just kind of take her down to 20. She could be quite a, an interesting, if we do, if we do that. Turret's five. Uh, we can add some more mounts. Okay, maybe we can make it like twenty one. Can make it twenty one knots, make her a bit faster. Uh, belt extended. Now we can do like three and then like two on the upper belt. Two and a half. Two. Uh, ship must have a name. We need a name for her. Okay. Reduce the rate of fire on these five inch, but that's okay. Okay, well, unfortunately I've got no keys for those pickle <laughs> so, <laughs> Uh Fuck. Uh, Russian for pickle. Come up with some anglicized way of spelling it, hopefully. Come on, the varmint. We could do that. There we go. Is it vermin or varmint? Varmint. There we go. The Varmint class. There we go. I'm happy with her. And we'll build two of her. A sudden slump in the economy has led to widespread unemployment and poverty, as well as cutbacks in the military spending. Uh, well, we'll just go for why varmint? Because that's just what it came up on my phone. It's it's like came up with a whole bunch of things. Uh, puck, rogue, romp, varmint, and varmint. So I just thought, well, why not? Why not just uh, take that one? What other what other ships? Okay, we've got we've got our gangoots out. So what we could do is move them both to Northeast Asia. I tell you what, we'll also build some more docks. We need to fill the post of a naval attaché to Denmark. Okay, I know just the man. Let's have a look. Uh, let's take some unassigned guys. Guchkov, Commander Guchkov. There we go. You're in. Okay, the 10 inch coastals are done. Sacklin. 
Austria-Hungary appears to be considering a naval rearmament program. Government asks for your advice on how to react. I don't. I don't mind. Ships are no threat. None. Oh look, we've actually figured out Harvey armor. Good. 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 And the varmint is ready for construction. Okay, we'll do two. There we go. Breezing through this game, and it's ten o'clock already. Two years per hour, and if we kept going, we could do like a twenty-four hour stream. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I think uh, I think the War Spite had sixteen-inch guns, didn't it? Could be wrong, but uh, yeah, that it, it did go up that far. Okay, another year until these Corvettes come out, and then we're probably going to think about. Redesigning, although the Dianas ain't so bad, I don't mind them hanging around. We could probably take the same design and then make it like the Diana Mark II or something. A revolution in that African country has left some of our nationals stranded. What do we do? Uh, I'm just going to send a strong squadron, see who it annoys. Austria-Hungary. Why would they be annoyed at us sending guys to Africa? Colonial crisis of Germany has arisen. Um, wouldn't be in our best interest to approach war right now. Melanite, lovely. What is German's navy? So, oh, they're going to be rivaling us pretty soon with respect to pre dreadnoughts. They've got the same amount. Of, I mean, we've got bigger budget than them, and we've got better tonnage. By by far. And would you look at that? Now we're in second place. With regards to uh, budget. That is right, yeah, second place by quite a margin. We're already leaving people behind. Fleet tonnage. France definitely still rivals us with regards to fleet tonnage. Obviously, Great Britain dwarfs us. Yeah, Italy has, has got a fair whack. But we'll see. We'll see who we go to war with first. Um, hopefully not Germany. I, I don't think I'd like to go to war with Germany first. Because then it would just get boring fighting in this sea zone. In the Baltic here. And maybe the odd one out in Northern Europe. Actually what we can do. Because considering we have the cash. Build a bigger naval base in Archangel or Mamansk. Uh, the Tsar floats the idea of trying to improve relationship with Germany. Uh, our national pride demands that we draw a hard line. 
Let's do that. Just for a bit of prestige. We won't we won't cow toe to the Germans. Yeah, we'll keep them keep them at arm's length enough. Right. Right, I'll tell you what we'll do, we'll put all these guys that aren't actually You know that's that's the rubbish one, isn't it? Shit. Right, we'll take the Sarovich then. They're in Northeast Asia. We'll take three of the Sarovichs and we'll move them to uh, Northern Europe. There we go. New training applied. Crews are now deemed proficient in the new tactics. Brilliant. Focus on physical fitness. On Pilar Pilardo just loves doing acrobatics. They like our uh, cheerleading squad. But for the Royal Navy. The Imperial Royal Navy. Can you build more dockyards? Uh, yeah, we are. We've got. Uh, we are building a bigger dockyard. It's it's on the cards. Five more months until that comes out. Major arms firm wants to build, uh, wants you to sell ships to a south, yeah, we always accept that. Okay, good, 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 good. Okay, we've got a decent number of Corvettes, or at least we will have, well, decent enough, at least not to break, break the bank. And, About it. Okay, well, recovery is economy is recovered. I believe after a naval visit by Italy. Okay, yep. She's got friendly crews. We're welcome to have them. Happy to have them. They're welcome to come. Right. Now, let us see about potentially having another 10 inch in Riga because we know we're going to have to fight along here somewhere if they ever start to invade if they ever blockade us those guns will uh, be very handy yeah yeah, the Mauser. Yeah, the Mauser was uh, hell. You know that they're they're still using Mauser rifles in uh, Somalia uh, and places like that and Sudan. You know the the civil war that's going on in in Sudan at the moment. They're still using Mauser rifles till this day. That's that's how good they were. Or at least there's so many of them. They just kind of bled and polluted themselves into the arms industry forever <laughs> okay there's a political murder in the Balkans uh, yeah pickle yeah yeah they're, they're still using them today mate because they're, they're that handy okay uh, nations stupid enough to put their fingers in the Balkans deserve get burnt it raises tensions just a little bit but we can deal with it what have we got here right one of our major shipyards is short on orders she wants to build another vement class 25 months at 10 percent discount I'll take it A hawkish government has come to power in Germany. This is the potential to increase tensions between our nations. You are asked to comment by a major newspaper. Uh, there's no reason. There is uh, policies of Germany. Uh, we'll, we'll, 
Yeah, we'll observe developments carefully. Let's do that. Okay, 11 inch guns, quality minus two. Not that we need it. Okay, Germany's looking a bit, a bit hot. Um, now, what I was gonna do is I could have put them all on reserve, but I'm not gonna do that considering tensions are so high. If they start going down again, I'm gonna save some money and put them all on reserve, but for now, it's it's not needed, I don't think. New docks complete, lovely. And improved armor penetration on shot design, lovely. Okay, let's have a look at the dock sizes. What do we have in Great Britain these days? Still 15. Okay, we can keep the docks as they are for now. Thank you for the likes though everybody, it's much appreciated and if you haven't pressed the like button please, please do so, it allows people to find us. Um, you know what we can do as well, up here, let's build some Oh, we could go for 11s, but no, we will, we'll go for 10s again. For funsies. Uh, Commander Imaretsinski. Okay, he's a bit of a loose cannon, has presented a suggestion for a new gunnery training program. Uh, he is a loose cannon, but I mean, if it's new gunnery training, why not? We should try it out. Prestige suffers, but crew quality goes up. Let's do it. I can I can take some internal prestige for the sake of better quality crew. And you know what? For funsies, we'll promote him. Where is he? He was called uh, Commander. Go for it. There he is. Average but a loose cannon. I'm going to promote him to proper captain. <laughs> well done with that gunnery school. I'm going to give you give you a captaincy. Okay, four corvettes are commissioned into the navy. Let's have a look. All right. Been implicated in a scandal. Oh dear. Okay. We're gonna have to. Uh, he's a poor ship handler, so we can get rid of him. Yeah, no problem. Bougainville, Germany's apparently sending a force to Bougainville. We don't need to worry about it. Uh, we'll, we'll join the international force. Germany ignores it, of course, and takes Bougainville. Ah, now let's have a look at the tensions here because Great Britain and Germany are very tense. But Great Britain still seems to like us quite a bit. France and Germany, little uh, fair to Midland, but yeah, we're gonna have to watch out for the Royal Navy and 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 Germany and see what they do, because uh, they might go to war, and in which case we'll we'll be ready to maybe profiteer off of it. Um, I, don't, I don't exactly know how, but. can do is you know what we'll design we'll design another pre dreadnought let's do it it's going to be designed in Great Britain auto designer oh god look at this
going to make her 15,000 tons. She's, she's going to be ugly. Ugly as sin. You know, God, I, can't, I can't stand the look of that. Or that. Okay, that's a, that's a bit better. No, Germany took uh, somewhere down in the South Pacific, which we didn't need to worry about. Okay, she doesn't have... Oh. Ah, this is the thing about... Uh, designing one of these is still stuck on minus two in which case I don't I don't really want to we'll wait until something comes up a suitable caliber that we can build a, a battleship out of because those minus two is still out of Great Britain is no good the Polkan lovely and the Peter have, have come out lovely New Naval Secretary has read a book on naval strategy, Stalin Cruiser Warfare. He wants you to build at least 10 additional cruisers. Ooh. We'll build half. And now he's saying that 11. Oh, Jesus Christ. Our base expansion in northern Russia is complete. We now have a total of base capacity of 10 in northern Europe. Alright. Okay, we're going to have to build ourselves a light cruiser. Something really cheap. Uh, let's make a four and a half. Or oh, six. That's not so bad. I'll tell you what we'll do get rid of those secondaries and what we'll do is you know what we could probably yeah actually it's so bad what we could probably do is add some F and G yeah and then T and S oh no S and T it's a bit, a bit too far back. K and J. Perfect. Can you send spies to Germany? Uh, yes, we we should have, we should really be putting some money into Intel. Totally forgot to do that. I was chatting away. Uh, we'll get rid of these two-inch guns because they're rubbish. Okay, she can go 22 knots and she'll have six six inch guns. She's a bit light on the turrets, but that'll have to do. Uh, five, uh, yeah, okay. Additional armament. Do we want to put underwater torpedoes? Yeah, I suppose we can do. She's fairly cheap. Take her two years to build. Let's do it. Let's do it. And then by the time, yeah, we can get good few out. We'll get a good few out in a few years uh, and then it will... I mean these have got 10 6 inch so with regards to this thing it's arguably worse than the Diana. <laughs> we should have actually just taken another Diana. Actually you know what Let's, let's re just redo this and make something a bit better. Get rid of those two inch guns. There's no need for secondaries. Right, so this this thing 
Oh, she's got two. Yeah, all right. Amazing, amazing. Tarrant's will make it three. Can we get that? Oh, shit. Hundred and sixty rounds each for each gun. Six thousand tons. That's better. The the yak hunt. Because they're minus one quality. I like that a lot better. Free dreadnought. Yeah, let's do that. Let's build them instead. Uh, you are asked in an interview which nation you are like most likely to go to war with in the future. What is your answer? Uh, we must fight against any opponent. Right, relations between Great Britain and Italy are very tense. Ah, okay. Oh, that's Rose tensions with Great Britain. That's no good. Are they still a bit iffy with Germany? They are. We could find ourselves at war with Germany and then maybe Britain will reach out for an alliance. Could happen. Could happen, peeps. Could happen. Austria-Hungary appears to be considering naval rearmament. Yeah, that, they're fine. Oh, tensions are very high between USA and Germany now. Austria-Hungary is getting a bit belligerent as well. Okay, we'll go to the build screen because the yak hunt is uh, coming through. We need 11 of these bastards. <laughs> wow. Uh, not now. Not now for them. How expensive for these? The yak hunt is 1,000 each. Okay, yeah, they're a hell of a lot more expensive. <laughs> Ten months of budget for for these. I'm not worried. I'm not worried. War is broken out between Germany and Great Britain. Brilliant. We're going to get in on this. I I reckon. Okay. Northern Europe. There's been a battle between the Britain. And German navies, the British ship Caesar has been sunk, and Germany lost a corvette and an armoured cruiser. Oh dear, that's not, not a good start for the British navy, is it? At least we're all still on active fleet. But it does look like there's going to be war with Germany for the next hour. We'll go on till half eleven. Uh, the war party in uh, PP, I guess that means Parliament, demands immediate action against Germany. An excellent idea. <laughs> Let's do it. A review of the new pr cruiser program is coming up next month. We should have no problems dealing with it. Okay, I've got that new 10 inch battery in Upper Russia as well, that's good. Major foreign policy crisis has erupted between us and Austria Hungary. Can we face both Germany and Austria-Hungary in the seas of Northern Europe? I, I reckon, I reckon we can. 
although we'll probably want to bring the game goods back in order to do it. Uh, okay, well, what we'll do is safeguard our interests but in a safe and proportionate way. Let's do it. War is broken out between Russia and Germany and it's pushed Austria-Hungary over to the brink as well. One war is easier than two but I'm banking on the fact that we're both at war with uh, with Germany here that Great Britain will just turn around to us and say Russia how about we be friends that's what normally happens all oh, the unrest is at five okay what has Germany got here two battleships okay well in, if that's the case we can afford to maybe put a few others in uh, They're in Northern Europe. Oh, we'll take these two and we'll move them out into uh, Northern Europe here. And we'll put these guys on uh, trade protection. cover us pretty handily so we don't lose too many victory points and then we'll see about Austria-Hungary so yeah July 1894 we're at war Great Britain has 25 battleships well Germany should lose pretty handily cruiser action here we go Whew. what have we got the view of harder. Let's see what we got. Okay, ten zero. Okay, she's both light cruisers. All right. Enemy ship sighted. Ooh, she's very close. Shit. Quick. Steam away. I'll turn this down a bit just to save people's eardrums. <laughs> right, back down to cruise speed. We don't need to have those stokers collapse on us. Sea state is a bit rough, so it makes things a little bit harder to see. Maybe we can sneak in some victory points if we find some corvettes or some trade ships or what have you. They're normally hovering around here. Closing ships are too far apart. All right. Germany wins that. Oh, look, there was one right there, the Blucher. She she would have had us for sure. <laughs> yeah, we were we were sailing into death there. By the looks of things. Lighter machinery for destroyers. Well, that's beautiful if we could build them. Because we haven't yet discovered destroyer technology. Ooh, Naval Academy, lovely. And Germany is blockaded. So we'll pick up points there as we go along. And uh, now let me have a look. Is Danzig. Ah, 
Prussia, East Prussia is not home ground for the Germans. Or is it? It's not. So we could probably nab East Prussia. <laughs> if we win this. A coastal raid. They give it up. 800 in the kitty already. Good grief. Right. Polkan. Now, is this our baby? This is. This is our baby. So, hopefully, she'll prove her worth. Okay, here we go. Now we can. on top of one another or is that actual I'll tell you what we'll, we'll go max speed and we'll see if we can try and intercept her what is the time where okay the sun's going to come up we're just going to kind of match her speed there it is oh she's actually a battleship ah <laughs> okay, well, maybe these 9 inch guns will ruin her. Uh, and maybe we, if we can get on the arse end of her and do like a quick maneuver like this. Oh, she's going to sail away from us. She's okay, well, she's a clever little bitch, but she's not scoring any hits of her own does she have? She's got four nine inch guns herself. Two of them look like they're in the rear. So we're going to have to see if we can try and cross her T as she runs. Oh, this is good. I think, I think we've got our first battleship kill already. There we go. Just cross her T. Hit her in the arse, see if we can get her in the rudder. Yes, look at that. Whatever idiot thought it would be fun to put just guns in the front. I mean, I know that was, you know, how the, du uh, the Dunkirk has. I'm sure many others were designed, but I, I, I could never fathom why you would do that. Have your main armament at the front. Uh, how is she? She's not on fire or anything. Um, let's hover over. Still light damage. Maybe if we had a few more high explosive hits. Maybe it might set her on fire. Okay, she took a direct hit. And the armor was pushed in. So there's a big old dent. Apparently she scored no, zero hits, but on the secondary is ten hits. What about you? You scored one. Okay, it's the secondaries that are mainly doing the damage. <laughs> yeah, these. Five, oh, these these five-inch guns. Yeah, they're not gonna. They're not gonna do a blind bit of. Okay. Yes, yeah, the five-inch guns that are really. Okay, so it's heavy damage now, but. I'm yet to. Be convinced. Okay, let's sail across the front of her. She wants to keep doing that. Okay, turret jammed. Okay, I think we've got her. Let's have these light cruisers coming for the kill now. 
use their torpedoes. Sure is a bit of a dance. But it looks like she no, she's not on fire yet. waiting for the shoe to drop a 12 inch round go straight through the bridge of one of these ships <laughs> set her on fire do something <laughs> I I think what's she got on the belt here 10 on the belt There must be some kind of fire going on somewhere. Just playing ring a ring a rosy. Tell you what we can do. We can go back down to cruise speed. Maybe that will help with our gunnery just a little bit. Oh, she's on fire now. Look at that. Yeah. That's for sure. Hover over. Yeah. Heavy damage and she's on fire. She'll be sunk soon. These light cruisers might want to uh, now launch their torpedoes. came so close she didn't even bother she just came came up to him because she wanted to shout him uh, yes to all so that's a enemy battleship sunk with just the use of armored cruisers and there's another one there's another one who wants some let's see what uh, let's see what she has to say shall we looks like a corvette yeah it's a patrol boat well every little helps so let's go to squad max and see if we can't catch up with her and sink her there we go it's over with only light damage from a dented hull on one of our armoured cruisers. Brilliant, brilliant result there. Uh, the Paris vet has finished up working up, beautiful. Uh, the British government notes that we are both at war with Germany. We might as well formalise our relationship with an, reliant, with an alliance. That is the next logical step. We'd love to be your friend. Perfect. However, now we're blockaded. Why are we blockaded? That doesn't make a lot of sense. Surely not, because they don't have anything in the Baltic. Can you blockade from a different sea zone now? I mean, it would make sense considering if we were to accept trade, it would have to come within inches of German territory. But I'm wondering if now a blockade can be implemented from an, like, like some special rule where you can blockade Russia from the Northern European Sea Zone. That's interesting. But we shouldn't suffer too much. No, we won't suffer too much. Okay, let's... Uh, let's 
let's get these boys because they will count as capital ships uh, in 1890 so what we'll do is we'll move these guys to uh, northern Europe and it looks like our ally will count as uh, supplying them as well which is nice action with light forces but Germany doesn't want to fight the F Staffy is in the yard with engine problems okay and the enemy has sounded out about a negotiated peace a few more months more will do it I want East Prussia uh, range tables fine okay and they're no longer blockaded and neither are we what's he got here nothing okay good stuff anything out in Northeast Asia no but Japan now has those five battleships to contest us if it really wanted to a battleship engagement brilliant but we just picked up some free victory points and a convoy attack and we start with something sighted right off the bat here okay good oh all the way up here surely not if that's our target Controlled, and let's send the battleships down south. What is what is that, Prince Heinrich? Four seven-inch guns. All right. Can we chase these? guys down. I don't necessarily think we need to worry about the Prince Heinrich over here but we can maybe try and catch up with this convoy and that seems to me like that is not the convoy that is a hell of a load of warships coming my way well, in order to win here then we really need to ambush this convoy and get the hell out of dodge speed things up just a tad we are keeping them out of uh, shot range there's another fleet over here. Oh my goodness. Okay, well. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, move away there, boy. Controlled, I think, and we'll just put you on what uh, spawn the core as you're a bit damaged. What's this? Oh, shit. You okay? Okay, you scored two hits. But apparently, the Gnise now probably come off a bit worse for wear. Right damage. Why is she slowing down so much? Wow. That is a lot of transport ships gone. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can try and... Uh, get ourselves out of trouble here I want you to uh, yeah I just I want to 
keep you on screen, I think. The knives now is now coming up to hit us in the rear, which is no good when we've got these battleships that can only fight from the front. Well, we're just going to have to turn away. Too much trouble. We had to move back up, back down to cruise speed. So they're only going 13? Wow. But at least we accomplished our mission. Is that? Whew. Sailing back home. Two battles, not a ship lost yet. Brilliant. Okay. Our scientists report that they have suffered a temporary setback in figuring out the concept of range tables. This range table idea has been bugging them for about the last four years. Okay, now they're back to being blockaded, which is good. We've got the new varmints coming out in two to three months. Lovely. Enemy raid on coastal shipping. Sort that out. Let's sort that out. Just need to have dropped the viewers now. There's only two of us. Is it just me and you, Pickle? Or is Bill still around? Maybe it's just a nuke. Where's. Unknown ship sighted. Oh. Okay, we've got not a lot of time to sink it. Let's see if we can catch up to it. It is a light cruiser. Uh, she's running. Uh, if she's running, we'll let her run. I need to chase her. Right, you know what? I think we'll see out until eighteen ninety five, I think. Uh, yes to all, I think. Let's go home. Yeah, I'll see you t through to uh, 1895, uh, and I think I'll call it a night. Uh, it's been good. It's been a nice little start. I've never played Russia before, so I'm interested to see how they'll play out on Rule of the Waves 3. And I hope you are too. It's nice to, nice to get so many likes. So I, I wish more people were involved in the chat. I do, I do try and say hello to everybody. Uh, yes, we'll end. Yeah.
Oh, they just had that light cruiser, did they? And we just ran it off. Okay, the enemy has sent out feelers through neutral nations about negotiated peace. I didn't realise it was actually November, but hey, maybe it, maybe it is a perfect time to, to cease here at uh, 5 to 11. Uh, you know, two hour stream, pretty easy. Alright, uh, I'll tell you what, we'll continue operations for victory and then see what happens. No common ground, okay. Fine. We'll see if they give us another battle. Light forces. All right. Looks like it's just a cruiser. Cruiser versus cruiser. Okay, the Nuremberg. Let's see what she's capable of. Six four inch, and we have two eight inch. Eight inches on the light cruiser. Really? All right. Well, you're gonna give it to us. <laughs> Can we outrun her? Well, she obviously knows she's outgunned. But we can. Pretty much match our speed for speed. Are we gaining? It's hard to tell. Uh, we might be gaining just a bit. Yeah, actually, we are. But she's slowing down. But she's still outside of gunnery range. As might comes in I'll turn away I had to leave out if uh, yes please thank you very much take the victory points for doing nothing Alina hello you've just joined us as we are uh, due to um, stop the stream so <laughs> you'll have to join us next time perhaps uh, okay we need to fulfill the post of naval attaché to Peru um, we'll send anyone it doesn't matter and uh, we're out this is it January 1895 it's coming up to 11 we're doing okay with our war against Germany, blockaded them, we built some nice little ships with the assistance of Bill, Danuke and Pickle, and uh, we'll see you uh, on the next one, hopefully. Um, I'm going to try and make this like a, a weekly thing, maybe twice a week, maybe we'll do like you know, Friday, Friday and Sundays, uh, and uh, we'll see you, uh, yeah, like I said, on the next one. Ciao for now. Make sure to save.